Let's go.
work. Another level. Gotta keep at it.
I gotten a little stronger? Another level! Got it, you got it!
Three remaining. Persona. Great work.
more power for me!
Sensei, ah. you beat two of them! <laughs>
your stuff! Yeah. 
You beat an enemy! Asura! Power for me! 
morning.
That concludes Risei Kujikawa's statement regarding her temporary leave of absence from the entertainment industry. We're short on time, so if anyone has any remaining questions, we ask that you please keep them brief. I'm Ishioka from Ladies View. It says here that you'll be recuperating. Are you facing physical problems? No, my health isn't an issue. Psychological problems, then? What? Rumor has it you'll be staying with your relatives, but isn't that in Inaba where the murders have been taking place? Huh? Um... Is it true that they run a traditional tofu shop? Will you be helping out with the family business? No more questions. This press conference is over. Clear the way, please! Is Risei-chan quitting her job on TV? Who knows? But if this is her hometown, we'll have to deal with everyone who's trying to get a glimpse. I'm tired of diets. Enough with going to the gym. Good thing there's something even I can handle. <laughs> calorie magic is made for those worried about their calorie intake and body fat. 
It'll slim you down in no time. Risei Kujikawa, huh? The one good thing about this town was that it had nothing of note. Now we get all the buzz. What's going on? Yo! Yo. Hey, there he is. You've been coming to school pretty often lately. What's up? It's this annoying thing called the mandatory attendance policy. Man, seeing you here kind of reminds me of the school camp out. I thought we were all going to forget about what happened. Oh, sorry. <sighs> eh, whatever. So hey, you guys see the news? News? Oh, that stuff about Risei Kujikawa taking a break from showbiz. I wonder why. She was just getting popular lately. Just goes to prove that being an idol is tough work. Huh? You don't know her? Dude, what's wrong with you? She's all over the media. It hasn't been that long since her debut. But at this rate, she'll be a top-class idol in no time. To be honest, I'm a fan too. She's such a cutie pie! A cutie pie? What are you, 80? But I think she used to live here, so she must have a lot of local fans. The news said she's going to her grandmother's tofu shop, right? Do they mean Maruku? Maruku? Maruku Tofu. Our inn was serving their tofu until recently. Oh, that place in the shopping district. I pass by it all the time. Wait. Does that mean I can meet Risei if I go to her tofu shop? Hey, aren't we getting a little sidetracked from the point here? Wait, did you forget about the murders? You're the one who said the connection between the victims might be the TV. She could be the next target. Come on, it's not like Risa started showing up on TV just recently. Also, how could Risa be connected to the incident so far? I wondered the same thing, so I did some research. It seems that she had no personal interaction with Miss Yamana. They've just been on the same show once or twice. She's been an idol for a while now, but she's the talk of the town thanks to the news last night. And she is moving here, after all. So if our assumptions are correct, she fits the pattern. She'll probably be targeted next. And if she is, that narrows down the killer's methods even further. What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Kanji-kun, listen real carefully. If Risei is next, then that lets us rule out our theory that the targets have to be connected with the first case. And that means the killer's targets are people who've been shown on TV recently. Get it now? Huh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Now, we have to keep a close eye on everything Risei does. Let's do it! Shish, he's all pumped up.
right. Thanks. Welcome! Thanks, man.
Big Bro. Hey. Ah.
Senpai! Later, Senpai. Kujikawa really is here! You know the tofu store, Maruku? The owners of that place have the same last name, Kujikawa! Seriously? Hey, I practically live next door! I've been hearing that there's a big crowd at Maruku. I'm not surprised. But was it really her on yesterday's Midnight Channel? Didn't she seem a little different? It was her, no doubt about it. Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. What's that look for? Anyways, I'm positive, right? Uh, are we going? I don't really care about celebrities, but it's not like I got anything better to do. Sure, I'll tag along. Sorry, but me and Yukiko have plans. Give us a call if anything comes up. Well, shall we get going? But let's be clear on one thing. We're not spectators. We're on an investigation, got it? Mr. Detective, did something happen? Oh, it's you guys. Ay, ay, ay. These gawkers keep streaming in with their cars trying to park in the middle of the shopping district. 
Why is that? Don't you know? Risei Kujikawa's here. Hey, did you see her already? Is she there? Which is it? Huh? We're asking why a plainclothes detective is here doing traffic control. Oh, uh, well, the Inaba Police Department isn't that big. We don't have enough staff. Well, I still have work to do, so I'll see you later. Dude, you managed to scare off a police detective on active duty! I wasn't trying to scare the guy. I just said what I was thinking. But you're right. It's weird for the police to come out like this. Hey, you think the police suspect that Risa might be the next target, too? All right, clear out. Coming through. Hey, Adachi! Damn it, I told him not to leave his post. What are you guys doing? Hmm? Kanji Tatsumi. Are you friends with them? Like it's any of your business. If you say so. So I'll ask again. What are you all doing here? Hmm. Oh, um... Well, who wouldn't want to come check it out if they found out an Idol's family ran an ordinary tofu store? I'm a, a big fan! Hmm. Fine. But remember, she might be a celebrity, but this is her home. Try not to bother them too much. That cop's your uncle, huh? So, what the hell was that about? Are you guys under suspicion? Well, they did take us in once. But we can't just tell them everything, right? If we say anything about the other world, we only look more suspicious. They'll be watching us all the time. Got a point there. Ah, man. There's no one in there but the old lady. Rosetta isn't here after all. I heard that she really is already here. But it might have just been a rumor. Well, it was fun while it lasted. A rumor? What? She's not here? Seriously? <laughs> you sound like the world's about to end. Shut up! Anyways, now that all those people are gone, we might as well check inside. I'll buy something. You know I can't eat tofu. Well, <laughs> that's considerate of you. Wait, what's gamodoki again? Is it the kind with the rice cake in it? There's no rice cakes in them. They're sort of like fried tofu patties with veggies and stuff mixed in and... Oh, okay. I know what you mean. I think I can eat that. See here. Sure enough, the only one here is your typical old lady. <sighs> Man, why don't you just ask if she's in back? Excuse me. Uh, yes, may I help you? What the then who's that? What? <sighs> uh are you Risei? Yeah, so? No way! Are you really Reset? What do you want? Huh? Oh, sorry, um, uh, some tofu, please? Tofu? Which kind? Huh? Wh which one's which again? If you're going to eat it by itself, you should go with Silken. Moment's better for cooking. Depends how you use it. Uh... Um... Psst, Kanji! Order something! Why are you making me do it? 
You already picked Ganmo a second ago. Dude here wants three Ganmodoki. Oh, I see. I'll go get them. Wow. She's nothing like she seems on TV. I wonder if she's just tired. Man. But it's really her! I'm so glad I came. Mission comp- Wait, we haven't done what we came here for yet. Um... Uh, have you noticed anything weird lately? Weird? Like stalkers? Are you guys fans of mine? I wouldn't say we, but yeah. Dude here is a big fan. You little... Why'd you let that slip? Her curves, her posture, even her beautiful slim legs. You finished checking them out yet, or what? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? I didn't say that. I never said any of that. Maybe you know already, but it's been dangerous in Inaba lately. And that's why we've been investigating some stuff. Oh, yeah? Sorry, um... Uh, let's see. Do you know about the TV show that comes on at midnight? I mean, it's not like regularly scheduled programming. How do I explain this? That thing that was on last night. The Midnight Channel, yeah? Oh, you know about it. Wait, what? You, you mean you saw it last night? I heard the rumors from some friends of mine. But that girl last night wasn't me. I've never been filmed wearing that swimsuit before. And the bust line. Huh? Mine aren't that big. Oh, yeah, I see what you mean now. I mean, what am I saying? Um, I'm sorry. Don't apologize so much. You're funny. Hey, she smiled. What is that show about, anyway? Well, we're not too sure either. But you know there's been stuff happening here, right? We think the people who appear there are the ones who get kidnapped next. I know this is sudden, but we're not lying. Yeah, that's why we thought you should know about it. Huh, so that wasn't a dream. I was tired yesterday, but I couldn't sleep. And it was raining, so I decided to try that rumor I'd heard about. Hmm. Alright, thanks. I'll be careful. Here you go, three ganmo. That'll be 600 yen. There's extra tofu in there for everyone. A little thank you for worrying about me. Oh, seriously? Thanks! Yosuke-senpai, you can't eat tofu, right? Want me to take yours? Hell no, I always eat what people give me. Thank you very much. Your receipt's in the bag. Seems like the crowds are thinning out. So we'll be leaving now. If it gets rowdy again, just give us a call at the station. Okay. Uh, hang on a second. I'm sorry, but there's some things I'd like to ask you. You do know that there have been multiple violent cases around here lately, yeah? Have you seen anyone suspicious around? Not really. It's been like always. Like always? Well, you're an idol. So I imagine you deal with folks like fans, paparazzi, and stalkers quite often. What made you take a break from showbiz? Does it really matter? I just needed a rest. And have you registered for school? I'm planning on going to Yasugami High. It was the closest. Well, I don't mean to alarm you, but... You do have some things in common with the recent victims. That's why, well... I might be kidnapped, right? I've been told that before. Don't worry, I'll be careful. Huh? Someone told you already? It was three guys. They were wearing uniforms, so I think they were high school students. Did one of them happen to look... How do I put it? Did he look something like a, a gang member? 
Wait, you think she's talking about your nephew and his friends? Hmm, something smells here. The recent disappearances between those and the two homicides, there's too many questions with no answers. To tell the truth, I followed my detective's intuition and came here to warn her. How could high school kids who know less than we do beat us to the punch? Were they just making up an excuse to talk to a famous celebrity? Or... Sir? Yasugami Hai, the second victim, Saki Kunishi, and two other students who were missing for a while. I guess the investigation of the ones involved with the school hasn't turned up anything either. Aren't we gonna be in trouble if this keeps up? The prefectural police will be coming soon. They're the least of your worries. Keep your head in the game. We sure have a lot of tofu. Yeah, it tastes great. You visited Risei Kujikawa today. What did you talk about? I see. Forget it. I shouldn't have brought it up. You guys met Risei-chan? Yeah... Are you... fighting again? Of course not. Here, hurry and finish your dinner. So about the Midnight Channel last night, that had to be Risei Kujikawa. It even showed her face this time. So now we know one more thing. The ones that the culprit's targeting are... Exactly! So we can rule out the assumption that all the victims are connected to the incident with Ms. Yamano. As for Rise, I took a peek this morning and she was still at the shop. So I'm guessing that TV show thing doesn't appear on the Midnight Channel until after the person enters the TV. Teddy said before that it might be the victim's own creation upon entering that world. I didn't understand at all at first, but now I feel it may be true. The one that appears on TV is your other self. Maybe the victim's true feelings are shown unconsciously. But we see them on the Midnight Channel before they disappear. You know, when it's still really fuzzy and you can't tell who it is. How do you explain that part? Yeah, it always happens before the person disappears. Like an advance notice. Or like a ransom note. But who are they announcing it to? And, and for what? I don't know. Ask the killer. 
There's a bunch of stuff I still don't understand. Is it possible that we see those images for the same reason? Huh? What do you mean? If the Midnight Channel shows the victim's true feelings, maybe it does the same for the culprit. Maybe what we're seeing is the culprit's intentions. Well, it's a possibility. The killer can throw people into the TV after all, which means they must have the same power that we do. So, when the killer thinks I'm going to attack someone now, that's what we see on TV? I don't know about that. Well, if we're going to go that far with it, we might as well say that's the basis for that entire world. Like it's some kind of mix of the minds of the victims and the killer. Or maybe it's everyone's minds. As always, nothing makes sense. Hey, Kanji-kun, you still with us? You haven't said a word yet. Uh, well... Uh... Um... Well... Um... You weren't sleeping, were you? Uh, of course not. I was, uh... <clears throat> lost in thought. I wish I knew what that world's all about. Teddy's explanations have so many maybes in them that I don't understand the first thing about it. Why would the culprit throw people inside the TV in the first place? They must know by now that people die when they're in there long enough. There's no doubt it's attempted murder. So the TV's a good way to do that because the police can never prove anything about the crime. Murder, huh? So the killer's got a grudge against certain people? <laughs> what well, if there's a shitload of people who've got my number? How about you, Yukiko Senpai? Anyone hate you so bad they'd get rid of you forever? No. Uh, Yukiko, there's always a slight chance and you just don't realize it. <laughs> But if we're trying to think of a common grudge someone would have against all the victims, I'm drawing a blank. Well, the good thing is we have another shot at getting ahead of the killer. We can leave the motive aside for now. Once we catch him, we'll make him talk. The only thing we can be sure of now is that Rise is in danger. <gasps> Wait! We get to do another stakeout? Hell yeah! This time we'll catch him in the act! We gotta go with donuts and milk. You said it. There's no better meal than that for a man on a stakeout. Oh, and throw in some disposable diapers. For what? They don't even sell those here. We have them at Juness. Uh, too much information. You guys finished yet? Let's hurry up and get going. Huh? What brings you here? Oh, uh, well, I'm doing legwork. What did I do to deserve babysitting detail? I mean, it's nothing major. It's not like Dojima-san ordered me here. So, what are you kids up to? Buying snacks? We were just about to head over to the tofu shop to see Rise-chan. Oh, I see. Hey, I'm on my way there too. Oh, then why don't we go there together? Come on, he's a detective on active duty, not a bad guy to have around. do 
don't stop, the culprit might get suspicious. Well, we walked past here like a thousand times already. Come on out, you bastard. We're ready for you. <gasps> Look! <laughs> Who's there? Here. Stop running, damn it. Don't come near me. Shut up. What kind of idiot would listen to? I'll do it, you know. What are you going to do if I get run over? What? No. If the suspect gets injured, the police will be held responsible. They'll get really angry and... Uh... I'll do it, I swear! S -s get out of here and stop chasing me! Hey, what should we do? Yeah, that's the quickest way. Alright, on my mark. How dare you assault an ordinary citizen like... Shut the hell up, murderer! We're taking your punk ass in! What? Time out! What do you mean, murderer? It's no use playing dumb. Wait a second! I just really like Rosette, so I wanted to take a peek in her room! Look, see? All I've got on me is a bunch of cameras! Yep, you're the culprit, all right. No two ways about it. All right, I'll take it from here. We'll hear your story down at the station. <laughs> I've waited to use that line. Please, let me go! I didn't do anything wrong! I know for a fact it's not a crime in this country to take secret pictures! Hey, don't you understand what's happening here? You're under suspicion of murder. Come with me. We'll talk about this later. Wow, that went better than I thought. What a coup. I gotta thank you guys for all your help. Well done. Oh, sure! But you really should stop getting involved with this stuff. It's dangerous. I know Dojima-san was worried sick. Come on, let's go. Is it... really over? The rest is up to the cops. Looks like the killer was a pervert, just like we thought. Wait, does that mean the case is closed? Seriously? Awesome! Hey, we should let Risa know the good news. Oh, hello. Would you like some tofu? Oh, uh, hello. Um... Oh, did you come to see Rise? She seems to have gone out, unfortunately. Huh? But wasn't she just here? She does that sometimes. She'll just wander out without a word. You must forgive her. She's quite worn out in many ways. She left without saying anything? Come on, you worry too much. She must have just stepped out. I mean, we caught the guy. Well, what are you talking about? We'll discuss it later. If you'll excuse me, I've got to take this guy in for questioning. Man, I can't wait to see the look on Dojima-san's face. She left without saying anything? Could that mean? Shouldn't we look for her? She can't have gone far. Yeah, I agree.
can't find her anywhere. What about you guys? None of the neighbors have seen her. Maybe we're just not looking in the right places. But where could she have gone? Damn it, this can't be good. I hope I'm wrong. Well, we did everything we can. No use griping about it. The weatherman says it's gonna rain tonight. So let's just keep our fingers crossed and tune in. I wasn't crying. Everyone was having fun out there. You forgot about me. I was abandoned. No, we would never do that. I'm sorry. Were you lonely? I was bored. It made me all listless. I'm a useless bear. I don't even know what I am. I couldn't figure it out. No one would come visit me. And I thought I heard voices from your world. They were all having so much fun. I was so lonely that I tried to cry. But I couldn't. Well, you are hollow inside. Shut up! Stop saying I'm hollow! Don't snap at me. This is your world, isn't it? You're the one who said you just want to live here peacefully and made us promise to find the culprit. Come on, I'm sure Teddy's just tired from thinking so much, right? When I'm alone, I think too much. It makes me even lonelier. 
I was so sad that my chest would burst and cotton would fly out. Can I try scoring with you two someday? Sure, go right ahead. Can we please drop the whole scoring thing? Anyways, we wanted to ask you something. How's it been over here? Did a girl called Rise Kujikawa show up? Can you sense anything? Rise Kujikawa? Hmm... You can't tell? Your nose is kind of losing its edge lately, huh? I'm a pretty shabby bear. Soon, I won't be useful at all. Then I'll get thrown away. I can... stay with you all? Okay, then we'll go look for something that'll help you search, like last time. I can't tell for sure, but I can kind of sense someone in here. I think I'll be able to find her. I just need some kind of hint. There's a lot of things I don't understand. Thank you very much. You're really kind, Sensei. I'll try even harder from now on. here.